Hi guys, Richard Gree here, CP Coach. Uh, we've got James here, uh, physio, and we've got a um, foam roller there that you've got in front of you. Um, talk to me about that. That one looks a bit more aggressive than others that you see. <laughs> That's probably the right word for it. That's probably the right word for it. You, you find them in all different shapes and, and sizes. This is this is a pretty robust one. As you can see, it's got a thin layer of, of pretty dense foam on the top with some uh, corrugations just to really get in there, and uh, and then a nice hard plastic inner okay so so this is going to stand up to you know pretty much anything you can throw at it yep. um it's you know it's going to take a little while to get comfortable on it mm -hmm. if you're really really sensitive around the area that you're rolling you might want to put a, a towel over it okay, something yep. just to yep. make it easier yep. otherwise you can get slightly softer ones um but you do need that that bit of firmness to, to actually get the job done yeah so why the like the lumpy bits is that important to have something in that compared to just the smooth foam Look, I wouldn't say it's absolutely necessary. Um, you know, sometimes it's nice if you do have a, a smaller spot, say even across the top of the shoulders, somewhere yeah. like that, where you actually want to dig in and get a little bit more purchase, yeah. it can come in really handy. Okay. But usually a, a flat roller will, will do basically do, do, everything. Do plenty, yeah. Okay, so when should I roll and when should I not roll? So you can roll, you know, basically if you're feeling tight mm -hmm. or you're feeling like you just you want to loosen up, you want to warm up, mm -hmm. so you can be using it pre-event uh, or so, you know, pre-training session, pre-load. Also post load, so a really nice way to, to cool the body down gradually, to mobilise everything, to help sort of flush the legs yes, and things. Yes. Um, it's a massive comfort thing, yep. so you do it when you know when it suits you. When you don't want to roll is that sort of post injury. So if you've got an inflammatory process going on, say you've tweaked your calf and it's a bit swollen or it's really tender through that spot, yep. you don't want to be rolling that. You want yep. to let that go through that three to five days of inflammatory process then you can be starting to mobilise. Mm -hmm. Absolutely work on the surrounding areas, yep. just not over that injury site directly. Okay, cool. And how does this fit in in regards to massage? Like this is a self-massage effectively, so how does that those two fit together? Absolutely. So it is self-massage. Look, it's not as effective as, uh, say, a full-body massage or getting your legs worked out by a professional mm -hmm. because they they know exactly, you know, how to work through the muscle and, and through the, you know, the whole body, mm -hmm. um, if, if you go that way, yep. to, to get the best results, to, you know, to get everything that you want from it. Yep. This is more... Um, yeah, as you say, it's self-massage, it's complementary to that. Okay, it's complementary yeah. to your training and yeah. to your to your other mobility work that you yeah. might be doing. Nice. Yeah. Good stuff. Well done, James. Thank you. Uh, must be time to get and use that, eh? Absolutely. <laughs>